The Faculty of Arts at the University of Waterloo is the most diverse faculty at Canada's most innovative university. The year 2010 marked the Faculty of Arts 50th anniversary. Starting in 1960 with 54 students enrolled in arts and now with over 50,000 alumni living and working around the world. Hi, my name's Callum and I'm a second year arts major here at the University of Waterloo. We're going to be taking a look at some of the stereotypes that exist within faculties and in the arts faculty specifically by talking to some students and getting their opinions. In order to do that, we came to the Renison University College residence to see what some students thought. Having heard varying opinions from the perspective of students outside the Faculty of Arts, we now turn to an arts undergraduate for their thoughts on the matter. I think that some stereotypes that people have about the Faculty of Arts is that our courses aren't as hard and that we don't do as much work. I guess people just see the work that the students in the art faculty are putting in and they feel that maybe other faculties do put in more work. I didn't come to Waterloo to please anybody else and the amount of work that I put in to my courses is solely for my success. I think there are certain people who maybe um, get upset sometimes because they have a lot more classes than other faculties might have, but I just think the thing you need to remember about that is everybody chose what they came here to do. I really don't think it's the University of Waterloo's responsibility to, cr to try and create harmony between faculties. I mean, it's people shouldn't be looking down upon other faculties in the first place, right? And I don't really think that there's anything that the university can do to try and uh, change the way that other people see different faculties because that's really something that they have going on uh, within their own personalities, right? So. Obviously, um, 
if someone thinks that a certain faculty is worthless or that their degree is meaningless, uh, I don't really think that the university could do anything to change that, right? Like they have their own uh, preconceived notions about what's going on over there and if they're not willing to actually try and learn and um, appreciate what other people do, then I mean that's their own loss. I just think it's really important for everybody to remember why they came here in the first place. So if you chose to come here for math or if you chose to come here for arts or environment, just remember why you came here for that and don't worry about what people think of what you're doing here. I think that the rivalries between faculties are here to stay just because I think when you group people together and you put labels on those groups, um, people's automatic reaction to that is to compete within those groups. But I don't think it's competition in a bad way. I think it's competition is can be a good thing sometimes. It gives art students more drive to want to succeed in life, right? To prove other people wrong. So, yeah. So, after getting some students' opinions on stereotypes within the school, we wanted to know if the university had anything to say. And who better to talk about the arts faculty than the Dean of Arts? How do you, I guess, feel the arts faculty is perceived? Administration at that time and, and today looks upon arts as a critical part of the university. They're quick to celebrate our successes. Uh, we're number one in the country for Social Science Humanities Research Awards which comes as a great surprise to a lot of universities where they often jokingly refer to us as an engineering school. And you can look at any one of our departments in, in arts and you can find not only excellent faculty and uh, faculty researchers, but you find students who are succeeding as well, going on to really good graduate programs, moving into various careers. Uh, one of our alum, for example, just stepped down as chairman of the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, he was a historian. So you find UW arts grads in a lot of places that people might not typically expect them to be. What was really striking to me is, in, in the case of the United Kingdom, it seems that the, the real value of an arts degree is becoming much better appreciated at all levels, including government, uh, the not-for-profit, and the private sectors. The fact that we're, we're justly celebrated for math, computer science, and engineering Rather than resent it, I think it's important for us to celebrate their success and, and but at the same time chart our own success. That to me is really where we ought to be going. Here at Waterloo, we're uh, uh, not, not surprisingly associated with engineering and science and computer science and math. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, those are strong areas and uh, there's actually a lot to be gained by working collaboratively with them. Do you think that these rivalries between faculties should be pushed against and trying to kind of dissolve those kind of ideas? Or? I think the misunderstandings have to be pushed against. One can try and counter them by actually using facts, but a lot of these people aren't interested in facts. And to me, you could spend a lot of time just trying to dispel these myths when in, in fact, you know, get on and enjoy it. Find out what you want to do as a student. Don't let others tell you that. There's always going to be a little element of good-natured rivalry. I mean, we, we tend to be pack animals as humans. I wouldn't worry too much about the good-natured rivalry. It, it's, it's there, and it, it, it's actually, uh, in a lot of universities, it's a core element of uh, school spirit. How do you think it affects the student body, I guess, overall? It's hard to say. I mean, I think it's going to affect different individuals. Uh, I worry more about it affecting parents, for example, um, who are increasingly, I think, anxious about their, you know, where their children are going and all that. And if they're misinformed about an arts degree, it may inform some of their decisions. So that, that, that's what worries me. You know, get on with it, have fun. I mean, the university, university's too short a time to worry about petty little things like that. I mean, there's always going to be some students who choose what to study based upon external pressures. But I would hope that most students actually pursue their passion because it's your passion that's going to make you successful, whether it's going to be as a teacher or it could be you know, chairman of the Toronto Stock Exchange. Um, talking with him, he extols the value of what he learned as a historian. And that to me is one of the best examples of how an arts degree is relevant. Not the art degree per se, but because it enabled that person to really develop what they want to. Find your passion, pursue it.